Hello, Carol Westmore here. And in this video, I will be showing you a trip I'm taking from the Isle of Wight on the car ferry to Southampton. We were doing a day trip to see a show at the Mayflower Theatre in Southampton. And I wanted to give you a picture of what the travel map looks like from the perspective of London, France and the Isle of Wight. I'm going to keep you posted as we go because it's a lovely sunny day and worth um, taking pictures in this kind of environment. There are three car ferries that ply the waters between cows on the Isle of Wight and Southampton and here you can see one which I have clearly marked to show where the passengers sit on the deck and where the cars are loaded front and back. The area that I'm shooting this video from is called East Cows. There are several different ways to go between the island and the mainland of England. In front of you, you see the red jet hydrofoil, which is coming uh, in the opposite direction to us and only takes a beautiful uh, day from the top deck of the ferry. And I'm going to show you how they have some of the uh, levels of where the pilot goes from. And in front of me, a, a Red Eagle barbecue. Here I am upstairs in the sun on the deck and you can see that there are places for passengers to sit. Unfortunately the wind is going to make it difficult for me to talk. While waiting to disembark in Southampton I noticed this map on the wall and asked Nick to explain. Well, this, this picture you can see on the wall shows the Isle of Wight and the, the mainland and the channel coming down Southampton water where the ships come down and they turn to the right, which is eastwards, to go out into the English Channel from the east part, rather than the west, which the channel is not big enough for the big ships to go out. So that's, that's how the ships leave Southampton Water. What I didn't say is that today is the beginning of the three-day Isle of Wight Festival which attracts 55,000 people. There you can see the, the latest batch of festival goers on their way to the Isle of Wight Festival. Five hours later, after an afternoon in Southampton, we are homeward bound. The Solent waters are much busier now. On this trip, we pass a variety of oil tankers, cargo ships, and even a cruise ship. The one you see here called the Ventura has a particularly interesting history having been named by Dame Helen Mirren. Southampton is a centre for cruise ships, one of the biggest in the world and over 1.2 million passengers start their dream holidays right here in Southampton. But more than anything else this narrow piece of water called the Solent is a hub for hundreds of cargo, container ships carrying cars, oil and fresh produce from all over the world. Of course, once you get to the Isle of Wight, it's a little piece of paradise and I welcome you to come and visit us and please like this video if you enjoyed it and contact me if you're interested in a Skype session to help you break free.